Now, each mobile platform, such as Android, iOS, Windows Phone, and the like, have their own design guidelines. So an example here would be Android Material Design for Android, iOS Human Interface Guidelines for iOS, and the Universal Windows Platform Applications, sort of design guidelines for Windows Phone. Now that's really good because it means that every Android app usually has a button that looks like this. When you click it, a nice little ripply effect happens, and so on. But the thing is, what if you're developing an app for three platforms? Let's say we're developing it for, which is currently Android on screen, but then we also want to go to the iPhone and make it an iPhone app. Well, we can with Ionic, it automatically changes the UI. So it'll look like an iPhone. Alternatively, we could look at Windows Phone and we can see that this is what it looks like on Windows Phone. Now the thing is, what if you don't want to show a fab button on Windows Phone? Or what if you do want to show a fab button on Windows Phone, but not necessarily iOS? Well, this is where the power of the platform service comes in, in Ionic 2. So create a new project to open your project, and we can import platform from Ionic Angular. We can get a reference of it within the controller, constructor, sorry, and we can say private platform, platform. We can then go to our view and we can say to our button or whatever object, it could be a div, it could be an image. We can say ng if, and we'll say platform dot is iOS. This button will now only show on iOS. It won't show on Windows. It won't show on Android or any other platform, only on iOS. I'll give you an example of this right now. When it eventually loads. So here you can see on Windows Phone, we no longer have the button, but if we look in our HTML, it does exist. So if we go to iOS and refresh, we can see that the button appears. Now this functionality can also be done in the JavaScript too. So if we had a function called alert, let's make a toast actually. So show toast. And if we went to make a toast controller from Ionic Angular, and we instantiate here, so we'll say toast. And then we basically said, this dot toast create. And the message will be, I am on Android, and it will last for three seconds. Toast up present. So we're basically going to say in our constructor here, or in fact, we'll use Ionic View did load to only show if the platform is Android. <laughs> you do need to add an if statement before that, but yeah. So if the platform is Android, then we can show the toast and the toast will appear. I am on Android like so. So if we open up our app, we need to save it first. So if we open up our app and it builds, we should not get a toast right now. See, no toast at all. But then if we switch to Android, we get a toast, which is I am on Android. So hopefully you can see the power of the platform service in making contextual UIs based on whatever platform you're on. If you'd like to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button and check out learnionic2.com. I'll see you next time.